G'day guys, Ryan here again. Um, those of you that have clicked on this video probably aren't my normal audience. So this is gonna be my new project, a T30X Trail 2006. So I managed to pick this car up for zero dollars. Uh, it cost me $140 to get it up on a car trailer. I did, however, have to sacrifice a few days of my time and, uh, and body uh, sanding boats. So it was quite hard work um, sanding the boats back for painting, but I feel like the the outlay and the time is going to be worth it for this car. Now, I have done a few things to this already. Um, this, the inside of this car was absolutely revolting. Kerry refused to get inside of it. Um, so we've got that to a clean state now. And by we, I mean me, because Kerry wouldn't touch it. <laughs> um, we gutted the car completely and uh, carpet shampooed everything. So there was no carpets inside of the car. It was back to bare metal, soaped it all, got it all nice. And it looks schmick inside. Mechanically, also not doing so great. So I've got a head to do on this. Um, it's mixing coolant with oil and I've determined it to be the head. The alternator had failed, it wasn't charging, so I've put a new alternator on now. There will be a video on that. There will also be a video based on this. I'm gonna do a big end and Conrod bearing roll as well as they are, um, they are more than likely gonna be worn and probably a set of rings as it's done 260,000 Ks while the head's off. We've got front left CV shaft to be replaced. Both front hubs and wheel bearings are being replaced. We've got new rotors and brake pads front and rear. I've got a two inch lift kit going in it. Brand new tires and 15 inch steel rims. Uh, some basic stuff like weather shields for the windows and then a bit more complicated like your D22, this Navara snorkel to retrofit to the X-Trail which is what all the X-Trail people seem to be doing. Um, and then just the basic camping mods like the King's Awning and a simple 12 volt setup. So if this is something that you guys are gonna be interested in, um, cause I know that there's probably not gonna be too many of my Land Rover subscribers clicking on this video, then stay tuned guys, cause over the next three months, probably two to three months, this uh, there's gonna be quite a lot of content coming out on this car. And once it's inspilled and registered, ignore the number plates, it's unregoed, I've gotta get it over the pits then it's time to have some fun in this and see where it can go. So I am planning on doing comparison videos between this and any other four wheel drive that's interested in um, coming out with me on the day, just to see how capable these little things are. I've always had a massive soft spot for X-Trails. I think they're just a cool little thing and they've got plenty of storage and the boot space on them is insane. And I love that you can lie in the back with a sunroof. So yeah, happy new years guys. I uh, hope you're sinking a few tins. Stay safe and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Catch ya.